Hi guys, um, today I want to give you some tips on working with your inner child. Okay, um, most of us just spend all our lives not even paying attention to our inner child and then we ended up in our adult ages wondering what happened, you know, you start realizing who am I, what am I doing, is this what I actually want to be doing? Um, especially nowadays we're coming into this new age and we're waking up more and more we awaken to a real purpose why are we here what are we doing here and we've been spending all our life just following beliefs that were never our own beliefs we start following um, patterns that were never our own patterns we were just included in it we were forced to believe and we never really asked why or tried to get our answers of course this is for most of us not for all of us uh, so today i want to give you some tips for those of you and also encourage those of you that are still not working on your inner child but you would definitely um, consider it because once you connect with your inner child and I'm talking from my own experience everything changes in your life the way you see life changes the way you deal with people changes everything all the energy around changes okay so these are just a few tips I'm not asking you to take all of them but maybe consider a few of them because they're pretty good okay so these are my favorite um, tips on it so first of all, main thing, apologize yourself, okay? Be conscious that a lot of things in your life you've been doing and you were sort of blind, you didn't realize that you were actually hurting yourself. This could even go into some sort of belief that someone told you, I don't know, your garden, your parents, anyone in your childhood, a teacher, anyone just told you, you can't do this because it's not right. But you never questioned, so you just followed that. And maybe it was something you really wanted to do because your inner child wanted to do that. Your inner child was happy doing that. And so just focus in yourself, you know, and apologize for that whether it's verbally by thought writing down you know I personally love journaling and for me most of my healing it's through journaling and through um, meditation as well but of course each person is different so you can try in all kinds of ways okay now second remind yourself how wonderful you are okay this is as well i would even put i wouldn't put this one as a priority but i use it every single day okay i spoke about this before the mirroring get up in the morning go into your mirror look deep in your eyes okay don't look just on your face and your lips and your no look in your eyes and just acknowledge how wonderful how beautiful you are okay and get that feeling you will start getting that feeling that emotion that love from within and that's your real love that's your inner child connecting with you okay now remember this is not going to happen on the first time that you look into the mirror why you're gonna feel awkward you're gonna feel weird you're gonna feel like what am i doing here this girl is crazy telling me to come to the mirror and look at myself but you know what insist persist okay discipline yourself and you will see the difference in such such a beautiful way okay i dare you to try i really really do right now third find a safe place when you're connecting with your inner child okay don't just do it anywhere find your inner place find a safe place okay it could be i don't know in your bedroom in the living room if you live alone if there's a, a place that you can even create your sacred place where you have that moment maybe put some music that calms you down calms your inner child i don't know light a candle incense 
essential oils, whatever it is that you have to do to relax and to have that special moment. You create that as a special moment. This is my moment. This is the time that I take care of myself and I connect with myself, okay? It's very important that you do this because you give a special way to your inner child. You give a special moment and you start realizing when you go into that space, it's it's your circle it's your blessing it's your moment okay no one can approach you there it's just you and your inner child okay then tell yourself you have nothing to be ashamed of accept everything okay everything that happened in your life until now there was a reason for it to happen, for you to expand, for you to grow, for you to ascend to where you are today. Because if you're watching this movie, this, this video, definitely, you were looking to ascend, you were looking to expand, you were looking to grow, to awaken, to follow your path, to grow on your spiritual path and your journey as well. So definitely apologize yourself for whatever you did. It's done, okay? Take the lesson. Don't just go and blame yourself for something. No, it's okay. You know, accept. I insist, write it down, okay? Even if there's a lot of things that you are not very proud of or happy or any feelings that are really holding you back, write them down every single one go into detail okay and after that burn this paper and as you burn this paper feel all this shame all this pain being released from you okay and once you do that go back into your into your safe place and connect with your inner child again and see how does that feel after that okay a lot of information this next step rediscover a forgotten passion maybe there was something when you were a child that you would love to do you know whether it was play with some doll jumping in a park walking in a field you know just run in a field do anything anything coloring drawing i don't know play with your dolls anything that really really was such a passion when you were young okay rediscover that go back and do that and it helps you to connect with yourself again and bring that excitement bring that happiness okay because that's what you want you want to rescue that happiness again you want to rescue that feeling that connection with yourself and rediscovering a passion that's exactly what it's gonna do okay maybe a song you used to love maybe talking with someone you know maybe having this childish talks or just fairy tales you know dream about anything i used to love to be outside in the park or by the beach just playing with the water i love to do that and whenever i have a chance nowadays I go to the park and I just walk in the park and I just feel so good and just sit down looking at the trees and I just stay in my own world or to go to the beach, you know, and just play with the water and I, it, it feels so good, you know. And at some stage you will finally forget about the world outside and just connect with yourself. And it, it's so beautiful, it feels so good. Like when you go to the beach and you see children playing, they're just, they're just so innocent and just, they're just loving everything. They love jumping in the water. Why can't you? Just because you're older, it doesn't mean anything. You still have a child inside and that child is asking you to do that. If that's what you really want to do, go and do it. Okay, just do it and please yourself with these things. Go back, rescue those passions, those little things that it means so much. It really means so much. Now, um, write a letter to your inner child. This is so powerful. So, so powerful. 
when you write a letter to your inner child, okay, be as honest as possible and and connect with it because as you write this letter to your inner child and say all the things you want to say all the pain that you have everything that you want to release how much you want to connect with them everything you could even have answers from your inner child as you write this letter okay because when you connect with your inner child you ended up writing things that it's your inner child connecting with you and telling you what they want to say okay it's it's a transformative completely transformative letter that you can do if you're able to do this maybe in the first time you're just going to write one or two lines a couple of words you're not sure again Go back to your safe place. Connect with yourself. Make yourself comfortable with whatever environment you need to do. Do a, a little meditation before to center yourself with your heart. Okay? Do some yoga focused on the heart opening. And then go and do this letter. Okay? Or some music outside. You have a lot of... Um, videos music everything available nowadays okay it's not it's not lack of information it's not it's just looking for the right information <laughs> okay and one last one remember it takes time okay say for example you have a child a son a daughter niece nephew i don't know anyone okay maybe you're a teacher maybe you're dealing with children okay the first time you see them it's not gonna be guaranteed they're gonna open themselves to you right away most likely they will reject you they will run away from you they will not let you touch them at all they will not let you approach whatever they're doing it takes time especially your inner child it's been there inside you all this time trying to connect with you giving you signs giving you emotions giving you physical issues to try to show you it listen to me so it will definitely take time and don't expect that one day you start doing this and the next day it's like, oh, everything is fine. No, it's been your whole life trying to connect with you and you neglected. And remember, it wasn't your fault. It's everything around you. Beliefs, patterns, everything that you were made, made to believe. And, and now it's it's finally you're finally realizing that it, it, it's not that it's not just that okay it's about my feelings my emotions my self-love my self-worth my self-development my self-growth it's all about you working on yourself because when you work on yourself everything around you transforms I insist I am talking through my experience I am not just talking about some program I've seen. No, I've been doing this myself. I've been working on my inner child for quite a while. And it's not just for one to the next day that your inner child will connect with you. It's not for one to the next day that your inner child will tell you exactly what it wants, what it needs, okay? So this is, it's like having a child. Your child keeps changing, wants different things. And it happens to you the same, the exact same. It's just inside you. And because it's inside you, it's always there 24 seven. It's there for you to connect, for you to love, for you to protect, for you to nurture, okay? For you to love. And when you find this love, oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's like the sun is shining all the time inside you. You know but remember everything in our life it's opposites okay day and night sun and moon right yin and yang masculine feminine so 
when you're working with this inner child, don't expect that everything is going to be flowers. It's not. A real healing, you go deep into the darkness. You go deep into the shadow. And sometimes you could feel there's no way out, but there is. Because when you're going into there's no way out, that's when you're really starting your healing. You're really starting the big process for the light okay and this is where you create the balance for you to understand what is a victory you need to witness what is a failure right for you to enjoy the sunlight you need to understand what it is no light what it is dark for you to enjoy the heat you need to understand what it's called. It's all about opposites. It's always the balance about it, okay? So embrace all of this. I hope this will give you a boost for you to start working on your inner child, start working on your shadows, work on your healing, and you will see definitely the difference. And my last word here is be patient with yourself. Give it time because only here in this earth, in this third dimension, we have time. We need to have time to do everything. Time comes, everything comes when you're ready to open, when you're ready for things to happen. When you're ready for things to manifest, that's when things will happen. Okay? We can't say, I'm going to start my inner child uh, today and in one week I'm, I'm good. I'm done. I'm healed. I'm ready. You know? Be patient, give time, open yourself for everything that is coming and for everything that it's going to just open to you, okay? I do hope you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below how do you find about this? Have you tried? Is there anything else you would like me to talk about? And I'll be happy to make another video about it. And until then, have a wonderful day. Thank you.